right, we are coming live to you from the Morgan Hill Aquatic Center here in Morgan Hill, California, bringing you night number three from the Far Western Shore Course Championships, the 2011 version. I'm Garrett McCaffrey, joined by Tiffany Elias here in the booth, and we've also got a special guest, national champion, a member of the national championship Cal Bears team, freshman Shane Fleming. Shane, thanks for joining us here. This isn't your first time at Far Westerns, though, is it? No, definitely not. Um, been coming here since I was nine, eight, swimming for a long time. A lot of memories here. So talk about the meet as you remember it when it became a goal for you. Uh, it was every year. We had a short course and long course for Westerns, and that was what we trained for. That was what we always had fun times at under the tents and whatnot, and Far Westerns was the stuff to be at. <laughs> and as you kind of progressed up through Northern California swimming, it, it, did it grow in your mind, or was it something that as you kind of uh, were younger was a bigger goal? Um, it never really grew. We like think about it. It was more about you thought like, oh, Far Westerns coming up. I get to see all my friends from all the other teams, you know. And that was that was the big thing about Far Westerns. You decided to stick around Northern California for college, and it's uh, been a pretty good decision in that first year. Tell me about Minneapolis and the Cal Bears' run to a national championship. Oh, it was fantastic. It was such a great atmosphere, great team to be with. We were having fun the whole time, laughing during every meeting, doing uh, just doing our stuff it was fun how does Dave Durden get you guys so prepared for those meets because for the second year in a row pretty much everybody was firing at their a game from the very start of the meet yeah it, it's he's all about having fun he just he's talking about it beginning of the year end of the year he's not talking about we got to win this we got to win this everyone knows we got to win this it's um, I want you guys to have a good time and we can see it in our senior class they're incredibly fast but you see them in practice and they're all smiles yeah Talk about coming back here as kind of a, a celebrity of the area, passing out awards, meeting officials, talking to some of these kids. It's been a pretty good day for you? Yeah, it's been a great day seeing a lot of people um, that I grew up swimming under and just like seeing officials and stuff like that. They're, I mean, I, I don't see myself as up above anyone. It's, you know, it's just I'm seeing family, friends and whatnot. Very good stuff. Well, thanks for joining us. We're going to kind of run down some of the lineup that we've got coming your way here on night number three. The first two nights have been record setting to say the least. And Tiffany, if you could give us a quick rundown of the events that we got looking forward to here tonight. Sure. Thanks, Garrett. Well, like you said, record setting days. And I think we can expect the same thing here for day number three. We're going to start off with a relay, actually. Yesterday and the first day we ended relays. We're going to start and finish with the 200 medley relay on to the 200 fly for the older ages, 500 freestyle, 100 IM. Hunter back, Hunter breast, and then rounding out with the 200 medley relay for the youngsters. So that will take care of day number three. And we've got a lot of returning swimmers, a lot of different uh, guys that have been champions already. Probably got some medals from Shane here earlier today. So another fantastic day. And we're going to give you guys some interviews that we did here from prelims to kind of get you ready for some of the names to look for, starting with Chloe Isleta, who was your IM and backstroke champion yesterday. Tiffany caught up with Chloe a little bit earlier. Good stuff, boss. Thank you. Nice to meet you.